whenever our body is attacked by a pathogen such as a bacteria the first line of defense is the innate immune system innate immune system components such as macrophages dendritic cells attack these pathogens and try to neutralize them apart from macrophage and dendritic system one other component which is secreted in the blood stream are the complement proteins these complement proteins can also mount an immune response against this pathogen and try to neutralize these pathogens or help the other components of the innate immune system such as macrophages to engulf the pathogens in this video we would talk about these complement proteins and their mode of action so complement proteins basically help in opsonization opsonization is equivalent to the term neutralization by opsonization this complement protein creates a coat of uh, coat around the pathogen which is recognized by several phagocytosis cell such as macrophages apart from that this complement protein once activated can create membrane pore from this membrane pore fluid can leak out as a result it can create osmolaritic disbalance and thereby lysis of the bacteria apart from that some of these complement system uh, proteins are potent anaphylatoxin anaphylatoxins are those proteins which has huge role in inflammation we would see all of these function one by one in this video now complement proteins are produced by the liver and they are circulated into the bloodstream the complement proteins even though are circulated by in the bloodstream they don't harm cause harm to the body because they are in an inactive state and they need proteolytic cleavage in order to get activated and we would see how selective pathogen encounter can allow them to be activated and does uh, and thereby performing the downstream action now complement pathways are divided or subdivided into three categories one category is known as classical pathway in the classical pathway the epitopes or the antigens on top of a bacteria is recognized by antibodies and these antibodies are conjugated with several complement proteins such as c1q c1s and c1r complex and thereby it activates membrane pore formation or opsonization of the pathogen apart from that several pathogen associated molecular pattern more selectively specific oligosaccharide residues on the bacteria could be selectively detected by the mannose binding lectin and also that leads to complement cascade and thereby activation of the membrane attack complex and lysis of the bacteria once another pathway is alternative pathway alternative pathway involves factor b and factor d which is also converging like the other pathways in forming a membrane pore or opsonizing the bacteria so we'll look at the classical pathway in this video be it a classical pathway be it a other pathway the steps of these complement a complement mediated response is very similar first step is initiation after recognizing the specific pathogen either the that is recognized by c1q or it is recognized by mbl or it is recognized by filcolin so this initiation step leads to activation of several complement proteins and these complement proteins form convertase complex this convertase complex can actually form a lot of uh, proteolytic cleavage and it can activate other complement proteins and they ultimately help in forming the membrane attack complex and also many of these complement proteins which are activated by the convertase complex are decorating the surface of the bacteria which would be recognized by several phagocytotic cell such as macrophages and it would be engulfed now we go to the details of the complement path uh, the classical complement pathway classical component complement pathway begins with 
the recognition of specific antigen epitopes on the bacterial cell surface by antibodies. And these antibodies are further recognized by the C1 complex. The C1 complement protein complex involves C1Q, which is a multimer having coil coil domains, and C1R and C1S, both of which are proteases. Once bound to the antibodies, the C1R and C1S change its conformation and its proteolytic activity is uh, getting uh, initiated. Now, once C1R and C1S are activated, they can cleave complement protein C4 to give rise to C4B and C4A. Now, C4A is a potent anaphylotoxin. Also, C2 can be converted to C2P and C2A. This C2B and C4B together form the C3 convertase. This C3 convertase is very important because it can activate many other complement cascade pathways. C3 convertase most importantly cleaves C3 and forms C3B and C3A. Again, C3A is an anaphylotoxin and we will look at what these anaphylotoxins are doing. However, C2B, and so this anaphylotoxin, C2A, C4A, or C3A, all of these can attract macrophages from the blood system. So it would allow extravasation of the leukocytes such that macrophages and many other uh, pathogen recognition cells can attack the pathogen. So these C3B, C2A, and C4B, these three components make a C5 convertase, just like a C3 convertase. Again, the function of these convertase is to activate many other uh, complement protein. One such is C3B. And C3B itself is recognized by specific re receptor on the macrophages. As a result, what happens? A uh, macrophage can engulf it. Apart from that, it can activate C5 and C5A is cleaved and C3B, C1Q, all of these are going to be recognized by macrophages by specific receptors and it, thereby macrophage can engulf the opsonized pathogen. However, this whole C5 convertase activates many other complement system proteins such as C5P, C6, C7, C8 and ultimately this huge complex allow the formation of C9 membrane attack complex. The C9 membrane attack complex is nothing but a pore on the bacterial membrane. The C9 attack complex and C9 attack complex can allow water to come out from the bacterial cell causing a osmolytic disbalance and thereby bursting of the bacteria and thereby neutralizing the threat. This is how we looked at how classical complement pathway can work and how specific uh, complement pathway proteins are orchestrating this response by coordinating with each other and the overall response is either opsonization thereby engulfing the pathogen by the macrophages or forming the membrane attack complex and thereby osmolarytic disbalance and thereby bursting of the pathogen is the outcome of the complement pathway. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also in next few videos, I will be talking about the MBL pathway, the lectin dependent pathway and the alternative pathway. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.